This is my favorite graph to give to my students to identify the increasing, decreasing constant intervals. Now, hopefully you recognize as we're reading this graph from left to right, you're like, all right, so if we start furthest from the left, right, we could say, all right, that's definitely a decreasing interval, right? We're moving from left to right. We're gonna start from negative infinity and then it's just gonna dive down, right? It's approaching this asymptote. So you're just gonna shoot all the way down. You're like, all right, I'm definitely going down, 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 down to negative infinity. So the X value where my graph is declining is from negative infinity to negative two. And then here's the weird thing. After negative two, right, that's an undefined value. You have to hop right back up here. So how do you go from down here to up here without having an increasing interval? Well, unfortunately, it's just not an interval. It's just a part of the graph. You go from one value to the next. It's kind of like taking a little elevator here because this asymptote is not a part of the graph. There's actually no values of the graph where it's actually increasing. You just go from here, skip over the asymptote, and then you're gonna start back up here. So again, then we decline from negative two to positive two. And then again, we take the little elevator right back up here and we decline again. So then that's gonna be all the way from two to infinity. So this is an example of a graph that is always decreasing.